Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Lexi, and today we're gonna to be continuing season two of Invincible episode two. In about six hours, I lose my virginity to a fish. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that episode title. Uh, last episode was pretty, pretty wild. It was a great introduction to like season two and, you know, setting up the whole premise for it, right? Not what I was expecting. I thought we were going to jump right into Nolan and um, the Viltrumites and all of that. Um, but instead it introduced us basically to the multiverse of this world, right, that we're in. Um, and and it, they did say that there, there was a lot of Nolans that actually or there was a lot of marks that did actually join Nolan's side to like take over the planet and we got to see a snippet of like what that looks like or what it could potentially look like look like for our mark going into all of this the guy there was a guy there joining on like the resistance side with like the guardians of the globe all that kind of stuff against Nolan and um Mark and he was able to like transcend different dimensions his name was like Am Amstrom or something yeah, a Angstrom Levy, um, who was a pacifist, doesn't like violence, uh, trying to make a world a better place, and he was able to like access different like different hymns in different dimensions to gain a bunch of knowledge, or his goal was to gain a bunch of knowledge to like you know fix climate change and global warming and cancer all these like problems that could be fixed with our planet basically and he broke the maulers out of jail the clones that we know <laughs> those blue clones to help him build this like massive encoding device basically to strap like all of the all of his dimension levies to like this you know encoding device and and import all of that knowledge into him. But however, while he was doing that, Mark showed up, Invincible showed up, and um, it just, disaster struck loose, it exploded. And now this like Levy guy has like this weird deformed brain head looking thing. Um, and he only has revenge on his mind now. Um, I don't know if that's the one that can create dimensions still, but at least one of them is, there's only like one left that's alive and he's now trying to seek vengeance against our guy mark uh kind of weird how the tables have turned this like pacifist going against evil mark now once is now probably going to be the antagonist against good mark the mark that we know <laughs> so kind of crazy but speaking of mark he's dealing with a lot right now basically mourning the dad that he knew while also trying to like really hard convince people and himself that he isn't like his dad and trying to build a close relationship with his mom during this time because debbie's just going through it too they both are uh, a lot of crazy stuff also in the guardians of the globe rudy the robot guy he got demoted uh because he's still like he's just lack of leadership is just not showing up right now or his leadership skills is just not showing up right now because he's like getting used to his new body. So Immortal is back and he's going to be in charge of the team. And there's a new member called Bulletproof who constantly, hum or who humbled Rex in the last episode. So I hope that's going to be a reoccurring thing because that's just hilarious. <laughs> it seems like Eve's doing okay. She's being a really good supportive friend to, to Mark, but it doesn't seem like she's working for Cecil at the moment. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And in the beginning of the episode, there was a mention of like null energy, which is supposed to do something to Nolan or Vultramites or something that might come into play later in season two. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my head because I'm guessing it's kind of like Superman's kryptonite in a way um, is what I'm thinking, but could be totally wrong. But yeah, Invincible is back and he is working for Cecil, trying to get his mind off of everything. Uh, and he also feels like this this sort of guilt for the damage that he did when he was fighting against his dad and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. And also probably just to like really prove that he isn't his dad and he's on the earth side. Mortal is like feeling suspect about him. Totally understandable. Uh, so yeah, Invincible is back you know fighting crime with the guardians so that'll be exciting to see super excited to jump into episode two but before we do make sure to give this video a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one if you want to watch this video full length uncut my patreon link is in the description below as well as early access to more invincible reactions so if you're interested in that definitely check it out and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it episode two in about six hours i lose my virginity to a fish is this Omni-Man's thing? Oh no, this is graduation. You'll be here. 
You promise. Oh man. You and historical monuments. Bricks made of the clay she bleeds from humanity's endless ruinations. Isn't that most buildings? <laughs> you can keep the ones made of wood. Oh. Everything else we're taking back. <laughs> can you stop this guy already? Okay. Oh. Last time I underestimated him. What the heck? Magmanites. Okay. Yeah, I liked you better when you just hated presidents. <laughs> Alright, Doc Seismic is kind of piquing my interest here. <laughs> You're running out of time, kid. I know. Cecil. Oh, that uppercut was insane! That was really sick. He like went through the monument. I could, you know, I could try pushing it back out to, you know. Do not do that. <laughs> Take it from her. Hey there, hero. Good timing. Thank you. Yeah. William Francis Clockwell. Oh, so they're not going in alphabetical order. <laughs> well, at least he graduated. Oh, <laughs> remember, <laughs> there's cap way too high. Be original, be invincible. I'm uh, gonna go help finish the reconstruction up in Chicago. Hmm, sorry, I didn't mean to make that weird for you or to go. No, that's that's amazing. Do you ever miss punching bad guys in the face? <laughs> cathartic. Right now, I'm just happy helping people. Okay. Speaking of... That's wild. I'm on call. Cecil might need me. You're always on call now. Virgin Mai Tai. <laughs> Mai Tais are good. If those Sequids ever take over, Earth is next. We need to strike first. The Sequids! I forgot about the Sequid. Hmm. Livingston. Well, what, what makes you think I know anything about Martians? Is that how you say it? Martians? I have to visit uh, the urination chamber. Yeah, that's Equid. You are a smart Earth astronaut. Hey, uh, everything okay, Russ? Fine. Or maybe not a Sequid, but a Martian? Well, I, I don't know how else to say this. Please don't kill me! What? <laughs> Spare me! I won't fail you again! I swear on my three-chambered heart, just please do not stab off- Three-chambered heart. You're taking a temporary leave till you can get your head on straight. <laughs> Wait, so it wasn't a psycho, it was a Martian? Now I'm really confused. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? You scared the piss out of my entire crew. Go stuff your coat up your ass. I live in that building, and if it was up to the bureaucrats, we'd be sleeping in high school gyms until Labor Day. Yeah. <laughs> Know how long I've been begging the city to clean up that mess? Six years. <laughs> oh, but unless you know somebody, good luck. Hmm. That's. She has literally the coolest superpower. I swear. Okay, that looks sick. Well, what about taking the time to enjoy your last summer being a kid? <sighs> I'm not a kid anymore. The last time I did this on my own, half a city got destroyed. I understand. No, yeah. you don't. Let me finish. I understand why you think you have to prove yourself, but you don't. Mm. You're a good person. No one thinks you're going to turn out like your father. Mark, I need you. Thank God. What? I have to go. Wait, Mark, wait. Oh, he's just run. He's just going to run himself to death, trying to prove himself. Are you shitting me? You goddamn geriatric hypocrite. This is none of your business. Oh, come on. You and I Immortal? Don't do this. Please. We call them heroes. What the role model for Martian man will always be one of Earth's greatest superheroes. Uh. Martian man made Earth his home. 
It's gonna be the next Martian Man. Midnight City. Been a virtual no man's land since the Midnight Magician cursed it back in 02. <laughs> when you say cursed, is that like a metaphor or <laughs> what the hell? I mean it's cursed. Permanent midnight, perpetual darkness. Weird. <laughs> so creepy. Can not get out? Oh, I can. So weird. <laughs> Let me know when you're done playing tourist. Help me make sure scum like you never hurt another innocent person again. Whoa! Darkwing was at my 12th birthday party, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't kill people. Killed by your father, Invincible, which is why I carry on his work. I was Night Boy, his assistant. Assistant? What do you mean? Psychic? <laughs> we don't use that term. It's degrading. Bring him in. He's lost it. You hear them too? Huh? Voices. Oh, man. Hey, you're coming with me. Okay? So watch it. Huh? Whoa! What is this power? Shadowverse. I'm saving the world from Omni Man's son. Hey, don't call me that. Let go. Not until you take me back. Whoa, an alien growling. Guess who they'll eat first? Like you said, I'm Omni Man's son. Uh oh. You have no idea. Uh oh. I'm capable of. Oh no. Let go <gasps> Okay, knocked him out. And what if you decide you can't trust him? What then? That won't happen. I wish I'd only a deal. Donald? Donald? Then are you okay? She was just leaving. That was Donald. Uh Donald's dead. Maybe everything's fine. You don't sound fine, Mom. There. Turn it back, please. Before your father gets home. Why? What's going on? What's up with him? Samantha? Dad? Oh, he's working another job. You don't have to work some minimum wage job like a teenager. I can give you and mom whatever you want. I've provided for this family longer than you've been alive. There. 24 carat. You can sell this. Turn it back. Ugh, you're being stubborn for no reason. I will visit in a few days to check in and make dad sell this. Bye. <laughs> That's a tough situation. Never really liked her dad, but it makes sense that he wouldn't want to take money from his daughter. I'm taking you to lunch. Ooh. Where? Unexpected, but appreciated. Let me go grab my bag. There's this great Thai place down the street. Let's go to Thailand. Uh, I had somewhere else in mind. Oh my god. Whoa. You brought me to Paris? Sort of. <laughs> Is that sort of? Now? Oh, they're in Las Vegas. Yeah, so it's just Las Vegas. Well, I didn't want to get you all the baggage of dating a superhero without any of the perks. Mark, I need you. <laughs> Give me a sec. Dinner tonight instead? Go save the world, Invincible. Just make sure the voice in your ear isn't the only one you listen to. Yeah. She seems a lot more understanding. That's cool. Also, I need to take you back to work first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they seem to be good. That's nice. She seems a lot more like understanding about the superhero thing, so that's cool. No, please tell me this is not what the episode title is about. Please tell me this isn't it. Turns out the Atlanteans are sore about Omni-Man murdering their king Aquarius. <laughs> Since your dad vanished like a fart in a hurricane, and love dictates that his sentence falls to his next of kin. You, the only way to atone for the king's murder is to marry his widow. Strictly symbolic. All you have to do is go through the ceremony. Make no. Life, and all is forgiven and everyone moves on. It's easy. Okay, but like, will I have to, you know? It appears that Supreme Lizard has seized control in his absence. <laughs> Send in the guardians. <laughs> Are you sure? This lizard league. I call me 
the shape smith. Oh. Ooh, Atlantis. I'm not I I can't do this guys. This is going to be weird. Welcome, son of he who slayed my husband. About that. <laughs> I think it's kind of awkward, but I have a girlfriend. Her name is Amber. <laughs> Good place. So even though you know you seem super nice, it j it just wouldn't feel right to. What do you speak of? Isn't that why I'm here to be your new king? <laughs> why would I need a king? We abolish that barbaric custom. G great. So what's a new law? Trial by combat. <sighs> the death dweller. Thank goodness. <laughs> the episode title got me there. The definitely got me there. A seahorse? Wait, you want me to fight that? Uh, okay. Oh, it's connected to something. Can I go now? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, if you're not feeling ready, let's sell this bitch. So pleased to meet you. Come on in. Let's go, Debbie. Getting her stride, stride back. There's excellent local transit. Of course I don't. I just think it's not happening. When you earn the money. You can decide where we live. She's not your pet. What was that? Did we mention the spacious garage? Why don't you? Uh, she's there in the gym? not ready to deal with customers like this or clients, Why I guess. Take the rest of the day off. I'll call you later. <laughs> Bro, Debbie's a stronger woman than me. If my husband of twenty years ever called me a pet. I'd be rotting in a bed. I would be. <laughs> Your file on Atlantean law needs some serious updating. This wasn't the deal. Huh. I'm pulling you out. Back up some way. Oh, it's on a chain. Huh. <laughs> I didn't even catch that the fish lady, fish queen said like, what do you think we are, savages? Trial by combat. <laughs> Ugh, sonar. Those ears. <laughs> Crap. Uh oh. No, it's gonna start attacking Atlantis. Yeah. Ew! You're not your father. That's a tough, tough episode. He's like, you're right. I'm not. That's why I'm going back. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, it's the other chain. Nice. Nice. Um, <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Oh! The next time I give you an order, you listen. Pull up the audio from that part. Give it to the boys in R&D. I want to report in a week. Yes, sir. The sound. I know how hard you work to provide for mom and me. No one is trying to take that away from you. But you gotta get over this stupid man of the house thing. I'm trying to help. Oh yeah? Like you help Chicago? Adam, don't. What? <clears throat> the whole lot was unstable. That's why the city never built there. It's a miracle nobody was killed. This is what happens when you think rules are just for us pathetic normal people. I have to go. Don't come Crap. Back you figured that out. It did seem a little too good to be true when she made that park. I thought maybe she's gonna run into like some legal trouble with all of that, but that makes sense. <sighs> she needs this. Can they like hug it out and talk? So I cover it, pretending that they're okay around each other? Oh, 
Okay, good. I'm glad that they got to hug about it. The Guardians could use someone with your talents. Really? Forgive me for questioning your authority, immortal, but we don't know anything about the Shapesmith. I can tell you. I was born a baby human right here on the planet. <laughs> oh. Oh. I got my superpowers in a random industrial accident. What is going on with the sequins? I am a normal human superhero. Am I in? Yes, we were defeated. <laughs> Seems a little sus. <laughs> Not gonna lie. No matter what social media says, <laughs> we are the Lizard League. And we Lizard are League! Unstoppable! Well. Anyone is going to turn this organization around. It's going to be King Lizard! King Lizard's back! Okay, King Lizard. Why should I tell you anything? Who the hell are you anyway? The old friend who can help you, given your current predicament. Oh, this is the one, that one guy. Like the rock guy. They were smart. After our ultimatum, they ambushed my dad with experimental quantum bombs. Still cost them most of Europe. Was this evil, Mark? And they just wore me down. Bought me when I finally had to sleep. Who the hell are you? Donald. I said. Me? I'm not sure. Oh. Then whose problem are you? Whoa, gender bend. Make him pay for what he did to your world. Stop! Hey, you promised you'd help me! Hey! Don't leave me here! Hey! Okay, okay. Interesting ending there. All right, you guys, so that was episode two. I am so glad that what took place, the events that took place was not what the episode title was. I am so happy about that. <laughs> um, but I mean, I feel really heartbroken about Debbie, but I'm glad that she finally got to like stop being composed and just break for once. And, and I'm happy that Mark was there to like comfort her and like they can walk through it together. He still has this like guilt and mm, essence of wanting to prove himself that he's not his dad around everyone. Everyone seems to also kind of like, even if they're doing it un unintentionally, they're still like walking on eggshells around Mark, like maybe not feeling him out, but getting kind of nervous <laughs> that maybe he is going to turn out like Nolan, but we know he's not. I know he's not. Mark would do that, right? I know that in every other dimension he does, but... <laughs> Levy is still kind of in the picture, going to be a bigger threat, probably. Also, Immortal and Duplicate? What? Wild. Immortal's like thousands of years old, so that's disgusting, by the way. <laughs> we got the Shapesmith guy who is a Martian, who's now on Earth and pretending to be a human superhero. The Sequids have taken over Mars. I don't know, like... Are the Sequids also controlling that Martian that's on Earth? Or is that Martian just like escaped from Mars and now wants to pose as a human being? Is he a good Martian? Also that like sea monster that Mark was fighting made like a weird sonar sound that like really hurt Mark's ears. So Cecil took note of that. Donald's back, even though he definitely got his like spine ripped out of his back from Omni-Man, but he's back and he doesn't even know what happened to him. So are they cloning a bunch of Donalds, maybe? Uh, Cecil's keeping that secret. And the Lizard League, the, li the Lizard King is back and in charge of the Lizard League. So they're going to be a threat, question mark? Yeah, and it seems like Guardians of the Globe is still trying to, they're in like intense training right now. Not very good <laughs> team at the moment. So they're trying to get used to Immortals leadership. But uh, yeah, super dope episode. It feels like, you know those those kind of episodes where it feels like something big is going to happen and you're just like on the back burner like slowly inching your way each episode to to something that's going to be like huge that's what it feels like we also got eve that's like was trying to help clean up the mess in chicago but she ended up making matters worse and you know still in conflict with her family and all that going on overall very like 
I don't know if it necessarily like really pushed the plot along, but it's setting things up and it was like super enjoyable to watch. It seems like the story's getting really, really good. Uh, I'm loving every second of it, so I'm happy that season two is looking a lot better. Amber seems a lot cooler with like um, Mark, you know, being a superhero, doing his own thing. Um, she seems to be really accepting of that now, which is cool. So yeah, season two has been really fun so far. Um, only two more episodes left. I wonder if they're going to do like a part one, part two. Maybe like four episodes will be dropped later on this year. That'd be pretty cool. Not sure. Let me know in the comments below if that's the case. But I'm going to go ahead in this reaction video here. It was really nice. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. If you want to watch this video full length unedited, as well as early access to more Invincible reactions, my Patreon link is in the description below. It's going to be on tiers gold and platinum. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.